Hey, thanks, Mark. That's right. We're here with Dr. John Lewis, uh, a former oncologist at Sloan Kettering, a former uh, South African national rugby player as well. Uh, you were one of uh, a very small handful of companies with new data at ASCO, the big cancer conference. It just finished yesterday. Tell us what the data is, please. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, we did present new data. This is in a very difficult to treat, a rare cancer called sarcoma. It's with a drug called palifosfamide. Uh, what we showed in a randomized phase two trial was that with this cancer, we were able to slow down the growth in approximately 80% of tumors. Uh, in this very difficult to treat disease, that was a big victory uh, because up until this time, it's been very difficult to do. And for about the last 30 years, there's been no new drug in this particular cancer. And what is it about your approach that's different that hadn't been done before? I think a few different things. In particular, what we've done is we've applied modern molecular biology to mechanisms that we know work. So what we've done is we've taken the warhead of something that works really well, gotten rid of a lot of collateral damage. So it's not toxic to other cells? It's, it's a lot less toxic, correct. And it's a pill? It's both IV and it's a pill. And Correct. a pill is cheaper, which plays into healthcare, right? Lower the cost for everybody. Correct. Fewer side effects is cheaper. The cost of manufacturing this is cheaper. And that's something from the get-go that's been part of what we want to do, yes. Now, one of the things I have to ask you about, the stock was three bucks at the beginning year, got above six. The news comes out, however, and it trades down. So yes. what's the disconnect? If the data is good, why is the stock trading down? I think that's a general phenomenon that goes out at ASCO. And so post-ASCO, if one looks at all the biotech stocks, uh, including the ones with very good data, they all get sold off on the data. So if you look at ASCO Monday, all of the biotech stocks come down. And we are, are a part of that. Selling on the news. Okay, but one other, uh, one other thing. You're now going to phase three. One comment that I heard coming out of ASCO that the sample size, 62 patients in the phase two, maybe needs to be a little bit bigger. Is that a risk for the phase three? Uh, the sample size definitely does need to be bigger. The phase two is set up in order to take a look. We need to get bigger in the phase three. We expect that to be approximately 400. Uh, it's a brand new trial, but it's going to be well set based on what we've learned in the phase two. Uh, and based on that, we do expect that there's a more than reasonable chance that it is going to come out the right way. But again, it's a new trial. It is a new trial. We've only got about 30 seconds, so that's a real short time. Talk to me about a couple of the other new drugs you're working on. We have two other programs, uh, one of which has just started at Sloan Kettering in breast cancer. It's an oral drug. Uh, it does look promising. The second of which is an ultra-modern form of an age-old drug called arsenic. Um, again, it Poison looks, for hundreds of years. Correct, but it looks very interesting. Uh, part of it is already approved by the FDA. This is an even more modern form, again, both IV and now, oral. You recently did a financing. Quickly, do you need any more money? N no more money at this time. We have a lot of interest from partners. Uh, no more money uh, at this time at all. No. Okay, and certainly partnership, another one of the themes that we're hearing about. So there you have it. Uh, guys, back to you.